Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. What's up, everybody? Welcome to issue six of the Spinner Rack. I'm your host, Junior, alongside my co-host. Big B, Brian, I'm so proud of you for knowing that. I really am. <laughs> We're hugging no, people. Right? No. Uh, with us today, some special guests here. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. We'll start on my left. I'm Rosie Paparella. That works. That's John's sister. Yes. Jonathan Paparella. Johnny Peeps. I'm David Sanchez, people. It's like a mom name. <laughs> Johnny Peeps. Johnny Peeps. I see everything. Anyways, uh, issue six, Spinner Rack. Comic book movies. You knew this was coming, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't require. Material. This wasn't require as much research as Amazing Spider-Man 700 did. All right, uh, GI Joe Retaliation is in theaters now. None of us have seen it yet, but we will see it. Uh, Yo, Joe. Let's get thoughts going into the movie. God damn it, John. <laughs> get out. <laughs> thoughts going into the movie. Since, like this would be good since none of us have seen it. There's no Marlon Wayans in it, so it's got to be better than the first one. I thought the first one was pretty good though. Ah, Marlon Wayans, that's like a fucking selling point. It's Not a, for me. It's a skip from In Living Color. Oh, no, it's each time they try to tie in the the comedy relief. Yeah, no, it's horrible. It's like a oh, big Dungeons and Dragons guy when I was a little kid. As a young man, they did the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Me and my friends like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Fucking Marlon Wayans is in it. Ruined. Was he? Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Expendables or Expendables 2, either one of those. But you watch Expendables, there's parts where they're trying to make jokes but the actual funny part is because there's so many different accents interacting mm. and you don't get the joke is the funny part. Like, they're what laughing the over the ha, ha, ha. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you just, I've never fucking wanted to see that movie and now I like, I'm, I'm watching for that. Put some of Stallone, it was actually on last night. Uh, some of Stallone, all these other guys that just really mm. can't speak English and yet they're the best American action stars that we have. <laughs> Put them in a room, make them talk. Bruce Willis has his own fucking accent. You're like, oh my god. And Bruce Willis tends to mumble a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. His, he shoots that Bruce Willis look. His constant smolder. Yeah. It takes you yeah. away from what he's saying. Yeah. It's like he's <laughs> terrified. <laughs> he's staring at me through the screen. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so going into retaliation, you're excited because Marlon Wayne is in it. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't suck. So. Well, we've all heard positive things. I, I didn't watch the first one, so honestly, you know. Wait, you didn't watch the first one? Oh, no. So how are you bashing it? Because like, there were fucking shitty Iron Man suits. This isn't Iron Man's fucking G.I. Joe. That it's was sh- pretty weak, the whole flying suit thing. Did you watch Seriously? that part at all? No. I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> that was really poor scene. Dude, like I said, Marlon Wayans, shitty flying Iron Man suits, I'm out, son. I didn't have a problem with that. My problem was out. the Cobra Commander rendition. Was Cobra Commander in it? Yeah. Uh, he was just, yeah. yeah. In the first one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Watch the fucking JGL movie. JGL was in the first what one? Happened the there, what happened there is that they were trying to make a build of, like, this is who he was when yeah. he was young, but they fit it into two hours without any type of montage <laughs> to no, bring yeah. it to, to show growth. They, and they to screwed show it up, basically. Yeah. They made Cobra Commander the Baroness' brother and sister, and the Baroness was once engaged to Duke, which would have made Cobra Commander Duke's brother-in-law. I actually knew that Baroness Duke thing, which I fucking knew. It was somehow written by someone who like, probably writes Rush Hour? Restless. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, Rush Hour. Hour. I think Rush Hour had cleaner plot. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, let's get this black guy and this Asian guy. I'm getting racist here, but it was a stereotype movie. No, oh, absolutely. You cannot sit here and tell me that movie was not built totally on stereotypes. Chris Tucker was in it. That's all you know, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's all you know. No, because that's why I was like, let's get two of the greatest stereotypes in the world. Uh, give them the power of the law <laughs> and, and let them run wild. <laughs> Go. <laughs> that's it's like a Family that's Guy skit. Yeah. That's it. It was. It isn't that, was. Isn't that Brett Ratner? Yeah, yeah. Brett Ratner. Didn't Brett Ratner do X Men Last Stand? Okay, we're not going to do that. All right, look. Let's <laughs> let's keep some order here. We're not going to talk about that because then our Baltazar is going to have to comment on like how great of a movie it was. Really, we're going to go. Like we're going to go around here. And we'll start. For Rosie, we'll start with you. Did you watch the first G.I. Joe movie? No, I did not. Okay. Do you want to watch the second G.I. Joe movie? To be honest, I don't, just because I think The Rock is in too many movies right now. That's a good one. That's a good point. Did you see Warm Bodies? No. It was good, actually. It was pretty good. It was, uh, porno? if you actually it know, like one. it's, it's, about, about, porno, it's right? about the, the zombie guy who, who sustains his own line. Like, these, these zombies, how? Oh, how, the how, zombies they, how they, like how they, they, they becoming, sustain. Yeah. They're sustained. Okay. Okay. And, but through this, they build a type of consciousness. And if they obviously remain 
zombies for far too long, they reach another level of zombies where they're more skeletal and more ferocious. But um, it's funny because they, they still maintain some type of human consciousness. So it's a lot of narration. It's the dude that was beast, right? But it, yeah, but First thank class. God he wasn't beast because then it would have sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of comedy relief in that in, in the narration slash action because they can't really do what they want to do because they're zombies. But the book itself is actually great. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the book. Warm Bodies is a fantastic book because uh, it uh, it reveals a lot about the social life of a zombie. <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. When I mean social, I mean social. Sanchez means an actual book, not a comic book, so don't go into a comic yes, store asking novel. for it. Yes, I don't have it. <laughs> now, I want to know how we went from G.I. Joe to Warm Bodies. I don't know. You got excited. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, just, trying, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, you know are, you, what? Okay. are you still in stereotype mode just because like it's my sister and you think that like the whole Actually, teenage... Actually, yes, I profiled your sister. Thing? Okay. I can really pro. That's a woman. I'm sure about the cod pieces in the back. Yeah, yeah that's shit. Sure. That's, you know, that's nothing fucking bothers me more than those goddamn Joel Schumacher cod pieces. And the nipples. We'll get there. We'll shot. get there. Damn it. No, no, we'll that there. was very strange. That of course, was. Of course it was. But that wasn't his decision, though. I want to know the functionality behind nipple. There really wasn't any nipples. functionality. There wasn't. Just they, they were just there. Yeah. Just to, you know, make them look gay. Not to get more women to come to the movie. Come oh, on like George Clooney wasn't wait, 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 hold on. So wait, oh, so you're oh, saying that you're, you're saying that rubber rubber nipples excite you? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> There's no other better way to ask that question. Answer. <laughs> 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 All right, so Brian, do you want to see? You obviously didn't watch the Joe the first one no. for some reason. Marlon Wayans, I think I've said that like at least ten times. You made okay. Marlon Wayans, Marlon Wayans. <laughs> Whoever didn't watch the first G.I. Joe movie, I consider that making a good life decision. One important thing that <laughs> to talk about this G.I. Joe movie is uh, how many pushbacks it's had. Mm-hmm. It went That's through true. a couple of rewritings. A lot of it is the influence of social media and fans just being able to go, "Oh, fuck that! I'm not mm-hmm. going to watch it." And obviously, that's. You know, ten bucks. That was, a, that that was actually going to be my reasoning. I actually was gonna. I fell in love with this movie with the first trailer when Duke gets killed. Because to me, not nah, I know the hate is gonna come out, but to me that actually was huge symbolism. It's basically them saying we're not gonna do the same fucking movie. <laughs> we're not gonna do it. Yeah, Tatum. but I'm we're really not gonna. gonna first of all, it's a great movie because Channing Tatum wouldn't have spoke. Boom. Absolutely. Oscar yeah. winning performance. No, 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 no. <laughs> Give him some credit. He was great in 21 Jump Street. But that's just oh, it. Yeah, that's, that Hold shouldn't on. even count, though. Okay. That shouldn't count. <laughs> People like The Rock. Uh, fucking Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. No, no, but Marky Mark. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. They're in Don't great call movies. him Marky Mark. They're in great movies. Don't let him listen to this. <laughs> They're in great movies when they play parodies and or stereotypes of themselves. 21 Jump Street, Magic Mike, by far Channing Tatum's two best Wait, movies ever. Are you ever. admitting to see Magic Mike? Yeah, I did. You haven't seen it? Fuck no. You guys no. haven't seen it? It's <laughs> a pretty shit That's a cop out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you know when it tells you this. Nice. <laughs> no, no. How did you guys feel about Watchmen? Watchmen was fucking fantastic. All right. I, li- All right. I like the visual effects of Watchmen. I didn't I, had, I didn't read the graphic novel before I saw the movie, so I was just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? I thought Watchmen, in my opinion, one of the best, tra- like one of the best transitions from comic book to movie ever. Ever. Well, however, though, seeing like the ultimate director's special edition cut where it's got like the extra hour and a half in there, it really makes the story held a lot better. Just want to talk about Watchmen. You know? Yeah, Watchmen. There was. Damn, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I knew they did a director's cut, but I thought all the director's cut did was weave in the uh, the Black Freighter stuff. That's actually in the like the ultimate cut or whatever. The director's cut just has like little extensions of scenes of like the actual book. Right on, right on. I think the only thing, and I, and I don't understand people that are like, oh, I fucking hate watching it was so unfaithful to the book. Like, in my opinion, the only thing I saw unfaithful to the book was the not, this big squid monster. There was no big squid monster. Yeah. Which, I mean, come on. It's like... I mean, like, I, once, like, I finally got century. the book. Right. Once I finally got the book and read that, I was like, wait... Watchmen. <laughs> Watchmen and lack of big squid pissed all fanboys boys off. Which is kind of weird because uh, I'm also a huge fan of the graphic novel. It's super well written. It's uh, but the big giant squid at the end, especially after all that build up, all that suspense, having all these very complicated, very complex right, so characters, serious. so mm-hmm. serious of a book. Well, it's just he goes so into each character with detail just to have a uh, squid monster come out. Which you you're also you're you're trying to accept because you just read Watchmen and you don't want to feel like you read something shitty. 
So you're trying to you aren't you like no, you, the first time I read I was like what is this god awful piece and then, of and then, you're like, then you're like no 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 you go back toward the last twenty pages and you're really trying to justify this thing how how it all led up to to the release of this monster to destroy the world and all that stuff I actually believe the movie made more sense totally the, the movie was brilliant man it's brilliant yeah you have Ozymandias was like Ozymandias was like this this maniac uh, killer and he extends that into like being just a like, a global maniacal type sadist Let's killer. Name George Bush, what? <laughs> Ozzy Mondays. Oh, I said George Bush. I'm sorry, Ozzy Mondays. No, George Bush, <laughs> just the same. <laughs> no, I really liked it. I liked how <clears throat> instead of like the giant squid, it was Doctor Manhattan, which also gives you another reason to have him removed instead of just oh, you know, fuck humans. I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna go create my own life on some distant planet across the galaxy. Which was kind of like a cop out. Oh, he was much more justified in the movie. Like he, it was more. Yeah, it, it was much more well explained that like he just kind of like evolved beyond everything yeah. else. You know, if if, he, if if that kept going on, it would have gotten to the point where he just created his own universe. The the other detractor for fanboys, the blue penis. Which is like seriously, <laughs> was it really that fucking distracting? You evolved, I mean, except for there are five of them in there. You know, <laughs> I would like to swing around around, beyond but, high five. <laughs> I want there to be a point where we all just evolve beyond clothing. Are you sure? <laughs> Let's do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> but no, that, yeah. that, that point. Way to, way to make the only female in the group feel real comfortable. Now she's, gonna, <laughs> but, now she's gonna go home and just be like, all John, of I want to hang out with your friends a lot. No, more. she's just gonna be like, <laughs> she's gonna go up to my mom and just be like, all of John's friends are fucked hard. John, <laughs> you had nothing to <laughs> fucking <laughs> say <laughs> for two episodes, and the one thing you say is about her tricking off to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Hey, she's scoring more. She's gonna go home and talk right? about mom. John's a pussy. Hey, you know it's kind of Pat Barilla's point. It doesn't say which Pat Barilla though. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Did you see Watchmen? This is Pat Barilla's point <laughs> by Jonathan. Did not see Watchmen. Damn, I would have really liked to have gotten the female opinion on the blue penis. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. I've heard exhilarating. I've heard comfortable. I've heard. Satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Dude, you make it sound like it was like an infomercial for you. I was in art school at the time. Make it sound like that motherfucker. I was in art school at the time, so to everybody who gave me these answers, it made sense. Because a lot of time, well, yeah, we're artists. Your it just gets kind of, you know, it gets kind of. It's a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you guys. Worst comic book movie you've ever seen? I have to name just one. Just one. The Wait. worst. Does it have to be an actual in the theaters? No, it doesn't matter where the fuck you saw so, it. Like, I mean, you could say Corbin's Fantastic Four was pretty horrible. That's a comic book movie. Mm. Although the thing suit was fucking really good for a shitty, you know, movie made in the 80s or 90s. She the she original. Did. The original, yeah. The original one before. Well, that one sucked, oh. too. I, I, I'm not a fan we of We would just see that, right? Yeah, I'm not uh, a fan of any of the two fantastic. What about movies? Daredevil? Um, I mean, not Daredevil. Well, that sucks. Too. Daredevil. That's just okay, okay, but we have to pick one. We can't run just the list. We one. can't do this. I can't just pick right. one. There's so many. Just one. John, you go first. It doesn't have to be the main one you dislike. Just the first what one. What about Doctor Strange from the 70s? You guys ever see that? Shut movie? up. Your name's not John. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I saw that. I stayed up on a sci-fi marathon one year. Right? You're all excited. It's like it's 3 in the morning. I'm like, Dr. Strange! Yes. Yes. And then he he sucked ass. Hit the VHS, recording that sucker. It was like Captain America from the 80s. This is fucking crap. Where's comic book movie? Will. You might agree with me on this. You might not. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Fuck you. Next. <laughs> I like that shit. That one. The third one where they where they get transported to like ancient China. You know what it was? <laughs> God, Believe it or not. It was too commercial. It was overdue. Yeah, mm. you knew it. You expected the tacky version to come because the first one was just awesome. Oh, the yeah. second one, you already you already well, knew wait, the original the, sequel. Yeah, that's where the cheese came with the second one, with the fucking ninja rap. Yeah, but yeah. you bitch, no, that song went double platinum. So you take that shit. Back. <laughs> 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 that song's on my iPod. <laughs> Look, yeah, mine too. Look, oh if you were God. a kid watching that movie and you did not do the ninja rap dance when it came on at least once, you were not a fan. Thank you. That's not fair, man. I was like a teenager when that movie came mm-hmm. on. Okay. So. All right, right. Hold on. I'm 29. I still do the damn ninja rap in, dance. In, the, in defense of teeth, yeah. <laughs> Turtles Part Three. Three. <laughs> Turtles Three. Like in defense of Turtles Three. I believe everything about turtles, the fact that they're turtles as ninjas, the entire thing is hokey. You mm. accept it as hokey. That's why it has so much longevity. There's nothing about the turtles that takes them serious. There's time travel in the cartoons. It's kind of like the only genre, one of the one of the only pieces of writing slash cartoons slash movies where I could accept a time travel sequence 
aside from Doctor Who and Bill and Ted. My only issue with Turtles Back 3 the future, right? was the suits. Back to the Future was the best time <laughs> traveling ever. Duh. Who wants to talk about yeah. that? <laughs> uh, but no, my only issue with Turtles 3 was the suits. They look super stupid. Story wise, it wasn't a bad story. The, 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 the turtle the suits. No, the, the actual suits. turtle rubber suits. They look well, they look better than that 97 TV show. Those were blasters. That was, that was a bond. That was a budget yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, that was a bond. Yeah. Excuse me. Nice. Um, so you say Turtles 3. Worst comic book movie you've ever seen? Shut up. Wow. Okay, first <laughs> off, don't hate. Yeah, let's not. Second. Sibling rivalry. <laughs> Although John's comments have been completely rude. I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> Come from the man ripping into me. This is what I live with. Anyways. <laughs> I would have to say, um, I think Thor was the worst one I've seen. What? Oh my god. You know Wait, no, I want to hear your defense. You've heard mine. You've heard mine. I heard this movie. Go. Okay. No, no, no. The spotlight's on you now. That's fine. I can take that. I liked Hemsworth. I thought he was a good Thor. Pretty hot. So that was pretty much why I saw it. That's but why I saw it. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. Evidence is right there. But I didn't like the plot. I thought they could have done more of the story. I felt like I sat there for a half hour and not too much happened. I see what you mean. Yeah. Is, are you yeah. talking like, like he was on Earth, just hanging out with like yeah, the middle like stuff? I, I, I kind of see what you the mean. The love story aspect of it. It was, you know, yeah, Thor was better. like made just to kind of be that linchpin that connected the movies. I think Thor 2, now yeah. that Avengers is out of the way and everybody's yeah. introduced, Thor 2 will be what Thor 1 should have been. Yeah. I think. Exactly. There was Hopefully. so much more yeah. like Thor and Loki going on in Avengers than there was in the Thor movie, I thought. Yeah, I actually did not like Thor Loki in Avengers at all. Really? I thought it was stupid. I thought it was really? so predictable. I thought when they were fighting, it just looked like Loki was setting up for something. It, oh, it, you mean like when they capture him? Yeah, no, that whole sequence was very purposeful. Yeah. It was like. I thought the whole in the forest confrontation was a little, like, had some homosexual undertones, you know? <laughs> that's all. That's, you like, guys just, are just talking just about wrestling. Home, man. Home. <laughs> Worst movie you ever saw. Comic book. Only one. It's impossible. It's impossible. No, it's not. Yeah, name, yeah. name one that's like, like the highest one up on your list. That you no, no, no. Name. It doesn't Name's have to be on your list. Worst. Just the uh, the one you can think of right now. Like the worst first one two. Of first two. They, they, it's a fight. Which one wants to come out the mouth? Daredevil, Daredevil, Catwoman. Both equally mm-hmm. horrible shit movies. I actually, I'm all about Catwoman. I don't like Daredevil. It did. Uh, I did thought DC it was actually released Catwoman, or was yeah, it wasn't Brothers. the independent? Yeah. No, yeah. Warner Brothers. Or was it Warner Brothers, Brothers yeah. or was it like like was there, was there a DC banner on there? Because yeah. I saw like mm-hmm. like a middle part of it because it came on TV one time. I was like, whoa, no, it was. But it was yeah, it was, like you know after wasn't... you know Halle Berry was an excellent like over. Yeah. Yeah. Halle Berry Catwoman is gonna be great. It was an atrocious piece of But it had like nothing to do with like the actual original. Yeah, it nothing to do with the original backstory. Yeah, totally. It's just that name because her name, the character name, wasn't even similar to that. Really? Yeah. yeah, no, it was crap. Mm-hmm. But Daredevil, I thought, was just... Okay, like, no, like I'm going to shit on Daredevil for one reason, really. Maybe two. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck should have never, ever fucking been Daredevil. Should have been Matt Damon. I, I could have accepted Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. Matt Damon could do action, and the Bourne movies are awesome. Yeah. My issues with Daredevil, I have two. The suit, and it was... Oh. Maybe if it's petty, too, because, I mean, you're supposed to make it work in the real world. It was the mask not connecting. It was just like he's wearing uh, a jacket. As well, it was, it was actual suit. Yeah, but, it was like meant to be all just like... That was my issue. How would you guys... I'm sorry to pay off, too. And my other issue was that it just seemed like there was too much story crammed into it. Mm-hmm. You had the whole Daredevil Electra, and you had the death of Electra. Just because it was a great comic, you just had to throw it in the movie right. for mm-hmm. just to do it. You know, the, the bullseye Daredevil and the Kingpin bullseye. And well, it was just way too much you, going uh, That was a huge issue with the, a lot of the 90s comic movies yeah. where it's like, okay, we got to put two bad guys in here for sure. We got to have that. Be we got to have like one or two <laughs> sidekick guys for sure. Like, there's just like yeah. this, this valley guy, like, dude, you know, we totally got to have like, you know, like all this crap. There, it was that, that 90s formula. Mm. Well, Junior, have you seen like the director's cut version of Daredevil? I like the better. Honestly, I like the, the director's cut. I, yes. I was going to get into that. Yes. Yeah. The director's cut actually, like, it cleans up a lot of the extra yeah, so senseless crap. Yeah, it doesn't crap. seem like yeah. it's so crammed in. But it it's doesn't really focus on Daredevil. It focuses <laughs> on Matt Murdock. Right. Cool. But how would you guys have felt if there were more Matt Murdock than Daredevil? Would you think it would have led more into like a suspense thriller type of thing, more of a humanizing type of thing? Because when I watch a Batman movie, it could be the Nolan, it could be Tim Burton, mm. whatever, whatever Batman. There's almost equal, or there's there's like a shared screen. Yeah. There's that right. Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. and there's Batman. 
<laughs> and we're both here, you know. I think I read this online where they were rumored to do a Daredevil TV show. I think that I would work. That would that, mm. Picture it as like a CSI kind of show. Focusing oh. on CSI means Smallville. Yeah. Where you focus on Matt Murdock mostly, mm-hmm. and the whole Daredevil aspect would only come towards kind the end like of the episode. Arrow. Yeah. Like how Arrow focuses way more on Oliver Queen yes. than really does Green Arrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that would work. I think the CSI yeah. is, a, is a bad way to explain it because, you know. Uh, no, yeah, you're right. I totally agree with what you said. Let me go back to point number two, which I just thought was really wasn't my second point. I hate the movie, but it actually is a point of reason that I hate the movie. Is why in the fuck would you do a CGI rat? Mm-hmm. Right in the beginning of the movie, there's a rat oh. turning into the gutter, oh, and it's totally right. fucking CGI. Yeah. Why the fuck would you waste the money to CGI a fucking rat? You could just go to a pet store. Why you know, yeah. Yeah. You know, they sell them in New York. You could grab one out the fucking alley. What the yeah. hell? I mean, come on. They could have just walked into yeah. an apartment. Why are you like it? You have been doing too much time for lunch. Right. We need it for a flip. Yeah. yeah. All right. Why? Was you said horrible. Catwoman and Daredevil. Yeah, Catwoman, Catwoman. Just, just awful. You said Turtles 3. For some god reason, you said Thor. Yeah, I don't understand that really. Well, I, I get what she's coming I, from. I understand where she's coming from after she said it. Yeah. But at first, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> David, I thought I thought the Thor was interesting. And I was actually going to talk about a lot of the new movies. Um, Worst movie. Damn, okay. I, so I can't talk about that. Um, we could get there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right now, what is your worst pick of a comic book movie? The Street Fighter comic? No. No. Because they had a comic book. Yeah, but that was video game first. That was a fucked up movie. It was fucked up. Was fucked up. How much the only thing I liked about it, it was Raul Julia. How much does it suck for Raul Julia? He's playing the movie. He acted very well. Yeah, that's what I meant. How much does it suck for that guy who was in his last movie, though? Yeah. Like no, no. Blows. He made out an HBO uh, special. Oh, did he? The Rainforest edition. Well, that was... That was actually pretty nice. Worst movie! Let's go! Okay. United Village. Uh, God, oh, this is actually hard. This is really hard. I have to imagine I'm going to the theater. I saw something that really sucked, and in my head comes Spider Man Three. Oh, I almost forgot about Spider Man. Yeah, I did. I had to imagine. I was trying. I'm, I'm trying to put yourself in a place. You're in a theater. Okay. You paid all this money. You bought the concessions. You're no. there with your friends. Spider Man Three. Ooh, the that's the, the case. Ending, I have to change mine. The ending of Superman Returns. X Men Three. Dude, I just like, said one, man. No, like, I, I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I can't stop. I can't stop. Because now I'm angry. See, this is where I was at. That's how bad something's going. You put money into these tickets. You're hyped up. And it's like, what the fuck? Let me make a comment on Spider-Man 3 for going further. I went and saw that with my ex, who is bi. I have never heard this woman in her life use the word gay. <laughs> but when that dance scene hit, she leaned over me and was like, this is the gayest shit I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you know a fucking movie's bad when it makes a person that's pretty much gay yeah. call something gay when that's not shit I really do right. I mean it was horrible every one of those movies you mentioned fucking sucked they did man um, there were no redeeming qualities for Spider-Man 3 whatsoever none I, I can't name something right about that movie it was just too jammed they they tried to jam pack too much stuff into it exactly the, the, for, the formula let's put a bunch of shit which, Venom, which I, I believe the original idea of Sam Ray was to just was have just a Sam Man. Man. Yeah, which yeah. that would have been epic yeah, that yeah. Was, that's uh, all he wanted he didn't want the new Goblin. He didn't want Venom. You know, I, uh, I, uh, Avi Arid was like, the fans want Venom. They want you to do Venom. Yeah, Seeing how this that. is your last move, and possible let's last. Let's put Topher Grace in his Venom. Because that fucking makes sense. Yeah. I just don't like Topher Grace. No, not uh, at all. I think I'm honest. He would have made sense as Carnage, though. Yes. Mm. He he has the body for it. Yeah, and no, it, no. Totally. He has that appearance, but I, I've never seen him in an acting position where he's had to, like, freak out or, or be yeah. psychotic. Right. Which would have been interesting. It would have been Like, I'll say this. Like, for, for Spider-Man 2, when it was Doc Ock, I was like, uh, not a huge Doc Octopus fan at all. I thought he was a horrible fucking villain. I'm like, why would you just... The movie made me appreciate Dr. Rock. Because they completely Focus ran with them. Yeah. They yeah. put them indoors, outdoors, closed spaces. They, they just actually, you know what, to a credit to Junior, I wasn't going to watch the new Spider-Man movie because I just didn't want to watch a new origin story. Mm. And he, the way he sold it to me was like, Dave, you like Spider-Man too because of what they did with Doc They do the exact same shit with Lizard in this movie. Which they actually did. I actually liked that. Well, that's the amazing like shit. Yeah. No, it looked like a giant Goomba, a slow he, he Goomba. He did yeah. from, from the Super Mario Bros. Yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh yes. In the movie, he still he was still supposedly evolving into mm. this lizard yeah. thing. So I he, he, had, he had to have a, a humanoid sense. Well, they should have just gave him a snout. Yeah, they, I, dude, my my, my, my whole bitch would have been gone if he had a snout. I had no complaints. Yeah. Well, Amazing Spider-Man to me felt more like the Ultimate Spider-Man comic book. Yeah, which is what they were going for. Younger feel. Yeah, no, totally. Just more like that. The well, best Spider-Man material was when he was Hell yes. Yeah. Hell yes. I, mean, I agree 100%. Mm-hmm. I've always said what they need to do if Marvel ever gets 
Spider Man back. They need to go the fucking yeah. Harry Potter route. They need to get a young let kid go. and let him grow. Uh, yeah. roll. The yeah. hero's journey. Yeah. Yes. Because instead of doing this, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hero's like, journey. It's <laughs> the oldest formula in the world. Yeah, yeah, totally. It worked for the original canon of Star Wars. Yeah. It worked for fucking Harry Potter. Yeah, it's absolutely. a wizard. It's a wizard. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and it worked for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, because, like you said, the best Spider Man is when he's a kid. I don't want to fucking. They rush it too much. Yeah. Which, and then you get guys like. Nothing against. What's his name? Andrew Garfield. Okay. Guy's fucking thirty years old. Yeah, he's supposed he to be is. playing fifteen. I'm supposed to believe this. It's he's it's, also British too. Which, yeah, which wants more credit to <laughs> Harry Potter and and Lord of the Rings. Um, to teach anybody about character development is to watch those movies mm-hmm. and also to actually hold on to a demograph. That's where you can learn something because you you're getting character growth with each movie. If I went and, to high school, somebody who looked like Emma Stone, I'd, I'd always go to high school. Put it that way. <laughs> I, I wouldn't skip days. Like I got it. What? How, no, I'm staying in school. I'm going to this class. All I'm saying is, and I'm not sitting here saying like because a friend like a friend of mine we were talking about this. He was like, dude, go back and watch those Harry Potter movies. Those kids fucking suck as actors. Now after a few movies, they grew into it. The acting got a little better, but he was right. But there's that doesn't mean that you can't find a young kid around 14, 15 to play that. But look right. at uh, I don't know what's her name. Star Wars really suck. Oh yeah, so no, episode three. one. You can't, you can't just get from, any. Yeah, no, 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 you can't get any. All right, you definitely don't want to look into Mighty Ducks. And yeah, like, what no. are these kids doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, you definitely need someone that's got chops. All I was trying to say there is that you can't just write off all kids and say kids can't act. You can't fucking do that because that Dakota Fanning, that kid can act. Yeah, she can. She t- she tears it up, dude. She does. She does. <laughs> She's really good. Like, I had to watch those god-awful fucking Twilight movies. Sorry if I offend you. She's in uh, the Lay Miz, right? But, man, she was hardcore, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not. She's in Lay Miz. Just because you're a kid? You're, like, all over the Twilight movies? I don't know. Like, it I looks like her. Fuck, yes. You and this chick rules. You put the code of fans. <laughs> I know, yeah. Press Nas movie. Your sister's awesome, man. She hates Twilight. That's the shit. Good job. Sparkly <laughs> fucking vampires. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I'm yeah. just saying they should do a cross film. Blade meets Twilight. No, no. It's just where he can kill the shit out of the <laughs> And they can wear sunscreen so they don't, you know. You remember that, right? In the beginning of Blade, Deacon Frost were in this. Oh, boy. Let's fucking talk about that movie for a second. Okay, wait. You don't, which, you don't know, like, all Blade or? Oh, the first one. I'm directly okay. aiming at the first one right now. Okay. You've got this whole council hierarchy of all these old badass vampires, and this young vampire comes and just fucking kills them all like they're not shit. <laughs> what? That was blown away at the very beginning when they were in the club. Dude, the opening scene of the was dude, shit. That <laughs> empire was shit. getting hit. I was like, <laughs> they put the same <laughs> <out of> the <laughs> And it, it was, was just like blatant. Like, they weren't trying to hide it. Remember, though, remember though, the first and second one, uh, they did not show the Marvel banner at all. If they you didn't. look on the on the DVDs, it was yes, they did, by, but when they were showing the credits, it wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but fun. still, it's a Marvel character. They leased them mm-hmm. all. So I was just like... The opening 10 minutes of that movie was fucking mm-hmm. awesome. Man. Yeah. Truth is, I would actually like to and see then, a remake of that currently. I don't think it needs a remake. I think it's, it's good. I think it's, it's fine. I, pre- I think it probably needs to reintroduce. Well, that, was, that was the way to yeah. reintroduce Well, I remember character. Sci-Fi that, did like a TV show on Blade. Yeah, well, that's how he fucking Sticky it Fingers. Spike. <laughs> yeah, sticky was... Fingers from Onyx. Sticky Fingers from you can buy that entire series at Walmart for like twelve bucks. Really? That's yeah. that, you know, that's how you know your TV show sucked. You know, it's kind of like, like was, was it Birds of Prey? Yeah. Oh yeah. I like Birds of Prey. It's dumb. not bad. Going into it knowing it's an alternate version, it's not the current DCU version. You know. Why didn't you like Birds of Prey? Is that I mean? Well, you know, just the idea that it was that they weren't going to take what I thought was a well-established character-driven book. And they're going to be like, oh, it's Batman's daughter. It's like, oh fuck you! Yeah, I don't watch that show. Well, that's like an alternate universe, but we're not yeah, getting into that. Okay, so if there was one movie out there that they, because you brought it up, so I'm curious, remake. One comic movie to re- be remade that must be remade. Only one. Green Lantern. Mm. Green Lantern. Agreed. Green Lantern. <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> Let him <laughs> say it. Don't fuck right. with Green Lantern, man. I, I, I love him. Like, he's one of the characters right with Nightwing. In my heart. Yeah. First uh, fucking problem with it, we, Ryan Reynolds should not have fucked yes. with Green Lantern. He, he should have been whoa, the whoa, no, no, no. He should have been the Flash. He's got the humor. Okay. He's got the quick. Yeah, that was casting. Casting is what you're talking well, about. Yes, casting. I, I would see Ryan Reynolds playing Kyle Rayner. Yes, not I, Hal Jordan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I couldn't even see him as Kyle. Yeah, Rayner. no. Remember when Kyle Rayner first starts off? He is smart aleck. He doesn't. Yeah, he's very choking and stuff. Hal Jordan's he's too serious Ion. for Ryan. Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Now he's Ion. For some reason, Hal Jordan. I picture Mel Gibson from the original Lethal Weapon movies. <laughs> He's like, That's how he's schizophrenic. I don't know okay, why. Dog food. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's what I pictured. Why are you crazy? Why are you fucking nuts? What's up, Mertone? I can't get off the toilet. There's a bomb. 
<laughs> and I, oh, that was great. I didn't like the costume. For okay, it. wait, wait. That's a good question. Who, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I'm, no, so that wait. is a good point. I didn't like the costumes that they did for the movie. The, the Green Lantern. Yeah, like uh, at first, like when I first saw well, they, them, they like, like felt like suede. Like, like they showed like it was like uh, this, like it was basically just like the skin, like the inner working, muscle. Yeah, like yeah. the muscle system yeah, of that person, except just fitting. except just green. I, which I get, I get I I pieces again. I could get what I get what they're going for, <laughs> how, how how it was like a Bond thing. Mm-hmm. But all that suit sort of reminded me of was the Spawn movie. Remake. Yeah, totally. Spawn. Yeah, that's what that. Yeah, it's not even fucking worth it. Fuck Todd McFarlane and Spawn. Right there. Yeah, it got really sad here. So what were you? Were you starting to say? Yeah. Was about Green Lantern? Was it about uh, Green Lantern? He started saying something about the costume before you jumped in. I forgot because the costume was sucked. Yeah, it did. Mm. It did. <laughs> oh, oh, like uh, who who would you guys cast as Hal Jordan? That's, you're That's a tough cast. I think yeah. that you got to go with the nobody on that one. Man. I would say I would actually have said John Hamm from. Uh, I can see. Mm. Wasn't he just cast in Turtles? Actually, he's just cast as the new uh, Iron Man. He's the replacement for Robert Downey. What? Robert Downey walked out. What? He wanted more money. See, he I heard that, out. but I, I heard they reported that on April Fool's Day. So I thought that that was... Yeah, right, April just Fool's like they Day. said yeah. that they said that Peter Dinklage was leaving Game of Thrones yeah. and being replaced by uh, the guy from Willow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, did you guys uh, watch all that uh, April Fool's stuff, like Netflix and Hulu had the Itchy and Scratchy show and all that stuff? No. Did you guys watch that? No. You guys... Were you guys on Reddit during April Fool's? No, I was. I was here for work. No, but seriously, John Hamm. I could see him as a. Uh, I could see that. Wait, no, 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 back up. Did Donnie seriously walk out? Because that, that was reported no, on April no, Fool's Day. Oh. Nice. <laughs> He's just fucking with you, son. That would be terrible. Yeah. That would be like detrimental to that character. No, I'm just anyway, saying, like, who would you be able to find to replace him? Be, you know, like, much yeah. more, much more. No, as, as much as when they first said Donnie's going to be Iron Man, I was just like, what why? The fuck. Actually, uh, he was awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. picturing all his movies though. I, I the second it. movie yeah. sucked ass. Iron Man too. Yeah, yeah. You didn't like it? Oh no, that was dude. My whole issue movie. was let's take Whiplash and then make him my, Iron my, Man or Whiplash. My my issue with the Iron Man stuff so far is every villain he's fought is in the armor. It's a big suit. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they have their own. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Iron Monger, you know, for the first movie, and then the second movie, the drones, and then Whiplash in the armor, and too much, too much armor. Well, I'm just yeah. saying though, I like how like small those fights were. Every time, like it's like the final fight, it's like five minutes. Or like skirmishes that get yeah, it's, 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 that was kind it's of not like drawn out as well because you know you're waiting for that third yeah. for the big battle. I mean, obviously it delivered in Avengers because that whole oh yeah, the whole and like the last half of the movie was just one big giant fight. But now, how did that? How fucking hard did Avengers butt fuck anything that DC will do for Justice League? That's no, it. seriously. Oh, yeah. It's done. Because well, their whole idea of, like, just... apocalypse and being invaded by parademons has just been done. Who did they just get as a, as a screen? They, they officially announced one as a screen. They, they, they have been going through screen. I know yeah, Nolan is in charge now of the Justice League. Yeah, he's the producer. Much, he's well, he's, yeah, of, he's the producer. Of all the DC Universe movies now. Which, yeah, personally, I see good. Yeah, so it's basically, we got Nolan versus Josh Whedon at this point. Nice. Nice. That's, that's, that's still two different styles, though, because Nolan is more... Excuse me, you look at what he's did with the Batman. And what Nolan has more, depth. More movie. <laughs> Nolan you know, will give you depth. That's what I like. Whedon gives you... Uh, it's hard to say. Buffy. Because <laughs> I remember initially watching Dude, Avengers. Firefly. When I first watched Avengers, the first two times I saw it, I was super excited. Was but great. something happened... No, but yeah, but something happens when you watch it now, and you watch it, and you're realizing that probably like 30 minutes of the movie is Iron Man and Captain trying to fix a ship. <laughs> You know, you it's a pretty it, you, big no, shit, no, no, dude. no, you you get you get you get to this point where even when you watch it like that third time, maybe for some people it's earlier, uh, but you do reach this point where you're watching it, and you're like, man, these guys have a lot of busy work. They got to like busy, 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 busy. <laughs> they just have to find something to do. You know, I don't know if you guys have caught on to that point or you guys haven't just are still in the magic of how amazing Avengers no, is, I'm, I'm which I still think, but I think it's still great. It gave you as much you wanted of that you want to see as a viewer and as a fan and then over, overdo it. Alright, so we're running out of time here, so due to time restraints. Fuck that, I say we push on. Yeah. 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 We haven't gotten to Joel Schumacher yet. We have not gotten yet. I believe Joel Schumacher. If we're going to wrap man. this, we got we to end with Batman. Alright. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with Rosie. Go ahead. I love the Batman films. They're my favorite superhero comic book movies. Um, which Batman? All Batman? Yeah. yeah. Which ones? No, not all Batman. Um, Tell us by genre. Tim Burton, Joe Schumacher, and Nolan. No, I like Nolan the best. And then I think it'd have to be Burton, even though Burton scared me. Killer and Clooney just 
weren't good. They didn't play the character well enough. But he was weird as Batman. Yeah. yeah. That was a weird casting. It's like Batman trying to be fun. To, to me, yeah, it was, just, like, to me it was just like Clooney, just like he tried to make it as awkward as possible when, he, that, when he was yeah. playing Bruce Wayne in Batman. He yeah. was, it was too much Bruce Wayne. He mm. wasn't a good enough Batman to pull off that character as a whole. Yeah. I believe that was Schumacher, right? Both, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Keaton stuck with Batman yeah. and Robin yeah. forever. Yeah. All right. Your turn. You can go. <laughs> I forgot the question, so it's your turn. What's your favorite Batman? Oh, favorite Batmans. Um, I have to agree with Rosie. Uh, Nolan first. Um, favorite one has to be the second one, the Joker. I mean, Dark Knight. If anybody differs with that, then we can take it outside because I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory as far as the Nolan movies go. Um, after the Dark Knight, I'd have to honestly say Dark Knight Rises. I like what they did with that movie. There's something about it I like. I don't know. Maybe it's Bane. Maybe I shared the new black ball head. I'm just like, I want to wear one of those masks. You know, I don't know what it is. Uh, and then I would put Begins. And then after that, obviously, the Burdens. And I, do I even have to put Schumacher on my list? Can I just be like... Does anybody put Schumacher on my list? Can, can I just be like the animated movies? Well, can I put the Return yeah. of the Joker? <laughs> yeah. Batman Beyond? Yeah, Return of the Joker. <laughs> well, Schumacher, Who directed that? Schumacher is what you get when you, when you hire on a creative team that, that really doesn't respect what was already done before that. Um, I believe that Joe Schumacher, when he was doing quote unquote research on doing the quote fingers, people, he all he knew of Batman was the campy Adam West stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Oh, this is what America likes. This is what the world will like, you know, let's let's do that. It was definitely a, an interpretation of Batman for an older Batman fan. Mm-hmm. I had a friend of mine who's about like fifteen years old and me and me and had this whole discussion about now, at the time, there weren't the Nolan films. Mm-hmm. You just had Schumacher and, and uh, Burton. And I was like, oh, Burton's movies are so much better. Schumacher's, you know, all this gay, this colors, brightness, nipples. Yeah, yeah. But like he said, it was goes back to the camp of like the 50s and the 60s. Now, you got to remember that Adam West Batman also had a full-length feature film. Yes, yeah. did. But somehow, that's much more of an acceptable film. Yes, I like Schumacher. that. The Schumacher, because yeah, it totally that, is. that movie is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it it is. Joking, you know? Um, Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Even Tim Burton, bomb, though, Tim Burton, though, Tim Burton also reached a point of campiness. But uh, good, the reason why I think Tim Burton settled well with Batman is because Tim Burton films always do have a touch of darkness and mm-hmm. a touch of creepiness. That's kind of his thing. It's like that, that kind of goth. Well, he has an old school uh, a children's storytelling way of, of doing things. Like uh, I believe Elf Green, who's taken a very famous uh, children's book art, Arthur and Illustrator, he did the, the Giving Tree, uh, mm-hmm. and um, and even like people who write like uh, Where the Wild Things Are. You have those kind of writers that will tell you, like, like, the best book out there is the one that doesn't treat a kid like he's stupid. You gotta mm-hmm. scare yeah. him. You know, don't be afraid to scare him. You know, and, and that's how you kind of, like, you, you push the emotions a little bit. And it, But at the same time, it was kind of campy enough where it was like, you watched a pretty entertaining movie. All right, so you said yours, I said mine. John, go ahead. I'm breaking away from the circle. Personally, I like Burton's the best. You know, those were the first ones out there. That and just how Jack Nicholson approached the Joker. I just... <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll just say this. Let him get his out. I'll get mine out. And then we can do round table on our thoughts on the movies yeah. all together. Liked the Burtons. The own... Y'all gonna give me shit for this. <laughs> I actually liked... Just now? Batman Forever. Fuck Batman. Brian, Batman. your turn. <laughs> really? No, 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 no. I really don't want to hear why. So you're saying Burton's then Batman Forever? Right? No, no, no. I'm just wondering. He's saying he really liked Batman Forever. Right? That's what he's saying. So you're saying I Batman like Forever would be your top? <laughs> and I like the soundtrack. Like if you had to like... It's like Batman Forever, them. Dark Knight Rises, like that. That's where he has got a problem. Mm, not so much Dark Knight Rises, more like Dark Knight. Dark Knight is probably above uh, Batman Forever. Okay, no, no, keep going. Okay. But aside from the bat nipples... Why don't we keep bringing that up? Why, why, do, why do the more men more <laughs> <laughs> but like push all push Jim all that Burke. aside. I really think that Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones played good villains in that. That and I also liked how they presented Gotham City. Neon? Kind of, but more or less uh like Larger the ch- like the chase almost. scene. The two faced chase scene. <clears throat> Like that, I can see that because I think even after Forever You and I talked about like like Jim Carrey was he wasn't a bad Riddler. No, it, no, was, it really wasn't. And it Tommy was, Lee, he was it was pretty cool seeing him in that kind of character. It's mm-hmm. like uh, what was that one movie he did with Steven Seagal and the fucking. You uh, can't really blame the actors. You gotta blame the like characters. He was like a maniacal bad guy. Exit wounds. No, no, that's not what. That probably had DMX. Yeah, that's what DMX. That. <laughs> that sucks. I totally had it. And then you screamed out Exit wounds. Okay, okay, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Like he's a good bad guy. Tommy Lee Jones is actually a good bad guy. So yeah, I see. I can see that. 
Those are actually those are actually some of the two best like Batman movie villains. Out there. That, like I've done my research on this. I like I didn't want to call you out on it, but most of like the actual creative decisions for Batman Forever and Batman and Robin were pushed by Warner Brothers. They told Schumacher, "You have to do it like this, or you're pulled from the project." That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Schumacher actually wanted to keep uh, a very close representation of what Tim Burton did. He wanted to keep it very dark and close. But then Warner Brothers was just like, "No, we uh, because of uh, how dark." Uh, Batman Returns was mm. there's like we want to push for something more family friendly. I can see that because Batman Returns like he went uh, a little they, too, that went more <laughs> yeah. that was that was dark but it was also creepy like he, he yeah. made, I think the pet one went too creepy mm-hmm. and uh and uh who played who played Thorn uh, Christopher Walken like oh, they, yeah. like they they played too creepy. Mm-hmm. They, as yeah. opposed to just staying out in the dark, they went they went out of, kind of over that edge. Yeah. It's kind of like um, what was that movie with Ben Stiller when they when they had the fake uh, army? What are they? Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah, Tropic Thunder. Like, you one. can't oh, go yeah. full retard. <laughs> 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 Nice. Well, I mean, I like Batman Forever. I'm not going to get into Batman and Robin. But then going into the Nolan films, like, for me, I kind of found it a little bit tough that uh, to kind of believe, like, the realism behind it. Like, I just find it really hard that Batman could be taken in such a literal interpretation that there is this uh, group that steers the city into, like, they destroy it and then they rebuild it from the ground up. I just find it really hard to believe that. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Yeah. Kind of, the, well, the whole point of like Ray, uh, Ray Shaw Ghoul and all that, you know, where he's just kind of like. I just thought about Batman for. Oh, okay. No, no. no he's moved on to yeah. Where Ray Shaw Ghoul is just like, we burned London to the insane. ground. He just kept rambling. Why? Yeah. 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 Like we no. burned London to the ground, we destroyed other cities, and they've thrived from it, they've returned from it. So, I'm like, really, you're just going to focus on the one city that Batman's in? All right, we're we're kind of going yeah. on a little bit too long here with the whole yeah. thing. Okay, I got one. Not like you brought up a lot of creative plot holes in your own argument that I want to argue. All right, let's just throw all the Batman stuff out the window. I've got one closing question, actually two, real quick, and I don't want a three fucking four five minute explanation. Just real quick, best Transformers movie. One from eighty six. Yeah, eighty six. Actually, I watched that with my daughter. She loves it. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the no, Michael Bay movies. Michael Bay's okay. an asshole. He's gonna ruin um, Ninja Turtles. Well, I meant movie, not. Well, I didn't no, it's a movie. movie. That's yeah, I know, but I didn't mean that. Hey, man, you know what? If we got to my Batman, I would have said Mask of the Phantasm. Boom! Yes! Yeah, actually, that's a great movie, man. It's the quintess- mm-hmm. Dude, it's the perfect oh, Batman. The yeah. animated yeah. movies are actually better than oh, yeah. any of the real movies. All right. Well, yeah. So, yeah, so I guess we're all in agreement for the '86 Transformers. But then you know the Joker sucked. I, I, maybe Scotty gets to this. It's gonna be totally cocky. Okay. Okay. Seriously, <laughs> which non-animated movie, kind of like more realistic Transformers, is the best one? Yeah, you're asking that me. Yeah, is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's what I was okay. asking. Like the actual out of the Michael Bay movie. Oh, out of the Michael Bay. So I have to pick among the suck. Yeah. All right. Start. Go start. Go to go down the line. I don't know. Did you watch yeah. anyone? I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Just qualify for this question. Like, <laughs> Way to waste time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like what was me? that? Because you're uh, Dark of the Moon. The third I, one? I think that was the best one. I think that was the one I liked most. Probably because Megan Fox was. She wasn't in that one. Wasn't. That's what I said. Oh, wasn't. Okay. I've only seen the first and the second one. I probably have to go with the first one because the second one sucked ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Devastator didn't devastate. I would say the first one. Actually, I liked the first one. I like how it was introduced. That was a great storyline. I think part part three is my is a close second. What I didn't like was that if you're gonna put Shockwave in a movie, he should be the main bad guy. Yeah. Shockwave, like even in the comics, you know, he should have taken the lead role as villain because of the fact that Megatron was still part. Yeah. Part four should have been like now that they brought down Cybertron, they find out Shockwave is running the shit. Yeah. And he's but then to then that the wouldn't have there wouldn't have been room for, to do the Sentinel Prime turning on the Autobots. No, that could have happened. And well, yeah, they could have had him jumps into that. that could that's, how, that. that's how it kind of worked in the comics. Like, oh, we're in Cybertron now, but damn it, he's in charge. I could have seen, seen that. that. Shockwave and Sentinel Prime made this deal behind Megatron's No, it back doesn't have something. to be like that. But that would have been cool. Like, uh, I like Transformers 3. Okay. <laughs> that's All right. what I wanted to say. All right. Yeah, so to just to cut point. down my explanation, um, yeah, I actually, Shockwave was actually a huge problem for me because of that. And he, he was actually the best character. In part three, he had the fucking giant snake. The chair, that, yeah. yeah. All right, now final, absolute final. final I got a final question, just just to wrap this up. Just because you brought up Bay, how does everybody feel about him helming Tra- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I don't know why I was going to say fucking Transformers. Well, how do you feel about him doing a Turtles movie and Meg- Megan Fox possibly being April? Yeah. Oh, she's signed to being April. Yeah, she is. That fucking blows. <laughs> I look at it this way. Wait and see. Agreed. Uh, wait and see. You know what? I went and saw Transformers suck. Well, I, you had to wait to get there. <laughs> 
you did the wait and see. I'm calling that shit right now. I'm just saying, like, the only thing we know is who's playing who. You know what? What what bothered me was it's way too much. Like, if you're gonna do it, do it. Fuck all this human aspect of it. Mm. I think story. I think especially Hollywood, they need to get rid of this. Oh, the viewer needs a conduit into fuck all that shit, man. That was actually my other gripe is that how as the movies progressed, it was going way too human. I think mm. part one had the proper formula. There was just enough of them, and then like, I don't like them seem to do like an, almost like a Beast Wars interpretation where they land before people are really of any fucking consequence. Wait, was I talking with you and uh, you said you didn't like? Beast Wars, and I was like, I don't like Beast Machines. Beast Machines. And Nobody likes like Beast Machines. Then I, I told you it was about Jesus, and you were like, <laughs> Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> had to rewatch it. Because it was. Beast, Beast Machines, Machines was. Really? Yeah, it was. It was almost like watching, it's like if you read Genesis, it's Beast Machines. Whatever. All right, absolute final thing. No explanations, just the title. Favorite movie, comic book movie of all time. That's it. No explanations. Just name the title, and that's it. I want to answer this. We'll start with you. Actually, no, we start with you all the time. We'll start with your brother. I was surprised no one said any of the Ghost Rider movies. I, it was because they all suck. <laughs> they they did. I I even, honestly, I still have not watched the second like, one. Like, you know, honestly, you're, you're, you're lucky. Yeah, but I still have not watched it, man. I, I, I own Catwoman. I own Electra. Yeah, I pay for him. But there's no so reason. I, I, I have to sad. watch Ghost Rider. Yeah, that is kind of sad. Well, no, you know what? I didn't pay for him. I stole him from some. I acquired them from some procured them. Anyways, favorite movie. From less than Ruffy the Hall. We'll come back to you then if you don't have one. Go. Dude, Sin City. Okay. Dave? Sin City is a good one. Um, damn it. We'll come back to you. Damn it. The Dark Knight. All right. We're back to you now. Kick-Ass. Wow. Okay. That's a good one, yeah. Wow, you know, Kick-Ass never even came up. That was a pretty good movie. Oh, because it was a bad movie. We were talking you about know what the only thing that sucked about Kick-Ass, though, was that he shouldn't have got to fuck the girl. Because that... It's not hot with Yeah, because in, oh, yeah. in the comic book, she ends up... Like, again, up. Hollywood's got to fuck us with giving us the nice, fancy, happy ending. The best. All right, we're good now, so... <laughs> by far the best thing in Kick-Ass. Actually, Kick-Ass was also, was also my favorite performance, aside from Face Off, of a Nicolas Cage performance. Because he played it like Adam West. Favorite movie? I, I did like the Adam West kind of... Okay, yeah. so your favorite movie's Dark Knight. Your favorite movie... Sin City, bitch. Sin City. Kick ass. <laughs> Kick ass, David. I have none that I could squeeze out of First my one head. that comes to mind, like you were telling us. I know, but they're all animated, and we can't do animated. One that I could watch. Okay, I'm sitting at home. I want to put on a kind of movie that I could watch over and over again. Welcome to meditation time with David. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> 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 you have uh, watching TV. I'm trying to think of a movie that I could watch over and over again without getting tired of it. And honestly, I could get tired of a comic book. And, but I'm thinking about one. And God. So we're going to start filming Comics Remix now. When you finish, you guys know. That's a good question, man. That's one of the best You know what? For the, for the shit of it, to keep it rolling, I'm just going to say The Dark Knight. Because I could watch that one over and over again. All right. Cool. Good to know. Yeah. Good joker, man. Better yeah. than Nicholson. Yeah. Because each other one that I really like, I could find a thing about it that I don't like. Really? So that's what I like about Sin City is like I sat down and watched it with the books it's like verbatim the books with the exception of like Jessica Alba's character actually showed her breasts which I really that make a big deal to me and then there was this one scene in the bar where the guy's talking about how Marv could have been like a gladiator and they'd have thrown the women that came from a completely different book yeah. than any of the books it's even like Sin City 300 I have to be in a mood to work. <laughs> yeah. I, can't just, I can't just pop those on fucking 300 man and we're back <laughs> yeah. actually uh, when we uh well, the first time I saw Sin uh, 300, we were in the theater, and uh, and Yahida was still pregnant with Sadie. Literally, when we we're coming out of the theater, I think her nerves were like sky high because she's literally feeling like like razors, <laughs> like Sadie's just kicking and nice. kicking and kicking. I was like, this kid's going badass. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, just two days ago. The kid was all in the womb like, this is Sparta! <laughs> yeah, I just make, make it so, <laughs> turn off her ribs and shave them down to spears. <laughs> make her yourself right. make your kid. Right. 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 We'll save this conversation for later. Dark Knight, Sin City. That's right, kick, kick ass. ass. Dark Knight, and I gotta go with the original Turtles. I was gonna say, I was gonna call that. I knew it. Turtles, I gotta go with it. So, for issue six of the Spinner Rack, thank you so much for putting up with us. Oh, yeah, hell of a good, this is, has to be, I gotta say, like my favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's been loose fun. So, now we leave you. We'll see you guys next week with issue seven. Till then, I'm Junior, alongside David, John, Brian, and our other special guest, Rosie. 
So we will see you guys, Brian. Don't forget to check out comicsremix.com. Check out our Facebook page, Comics Remix, Facebook Twitter. or some shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just type in. It's, yeah, on it's, 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 yeah. it's on the internet. It's on the interwebs <laughs> thing. If you have any questions or comments or, just, you know, you just, just want to say Just dial 8 on your rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the see you guys next week. Good night. It's been a wreck. Why not?